We also use them on our gravel road. We'll have a lot of gravel roads that we have just perennial potholes. You've got a pothole here, here, and here. Your motor grader comes down and you, and you put more base on it and you fill these up. We're in the Barnett shell. We get a lot of trucks. The trucks come in and they just literally take that base right back out of those potholes. What we had done to an old gravel road with lots of potholes in it that you continually have to redo, we ground that up, compacted it, got it good and everything compacted together where everything holds together. And it's just like you put down a new road. You don't have that, that pothole is not there anymore. You don't have it where you can knock it out. We water that in, we get it good and wet, we compact it back in, and we have no problem with that road anymore. Yes, we'll get a chug hole every once in a while. All roads are gonna get some chug holes, but we can do up to a mile and a half of gravel roads in one day and we don't have near the problem that we had before. And we have a lot of truck traffic on that road. And I think that's a big key of using this. When you grind this back up, lots of water, and your fines in your base, if you got a lot of good fines in your base, which we use a good commercial base, if you got a lot of fines in there, it's like putting Portland or concrete. We don't use Portland. We haven't used any ash, we haven't used anything. We've just done this and, and really work it real well with lots of water and it works really great. The, the thing about Asphalt Zipper that I was impressed with is they made some statements right off the bat that this machine will do this. This machine will do that. And I guess being from the country, we're a little skeptical, you know, when you city boys come in and tell us what it'll do and what it won't do. But you backed it up, you came and showed that the, the equipment would do what you said it would do. We're getting 200 trucks a day coming down our roads that normally saw 10 pickups a day. So you can imagine all these overweight trucks hitting our little county roads, what they're doing to them. We don't have the money the state does to, to build highways. We build little rural roads. Budget-wise, we only have so much money to do it, and we're, we're trying to, to, to reclaim and reuse everything we can. If you come in here with your motor grader and tear it up, especially when an asphalt road, you just get big chunks. There's nothing you can do with it but haul that off. We're bringing in, putting more base with it, grinding it up, reusing it, mix it in with our base with lots of water, lots of compaction, and we turn out to be what we've got right here. We've got a nice crowned road. Right here you can sit there with your foot. You can't knock any, anything loose. It's just like it's asphalt. This is just as hard as a rock. And this is what you want underneath your road. Now we'll come back in here and we'll chip seal this and we'll have us a nice road again. Before we add the zipper, I'd have to have a lot more money to do what we're doing now and what we're reclaiming and reusing. In other words, in this precinct, probably where we would be spending $50,000 to repave or re chip seal some roads, would be $150,000. We wouldn't be able to do it.